Your NBC colleague Rodney Harris had suggested the hit on Teddy Bridgewater was typical of Fisher, and they've fired salvos at each other. Um, you know, and listen, I loved Harrison, but he he could he could be a little uh, off the rails. And I love Jeff Fisher, <laughs> but it's yeah. not the first time I've seen this accusation. Sean Merriman came on my show and said, "I think Jeff Fisher does coach dirty." Um, what was your, how, what was your takeaway on this? Two very successful NFL lifers, um, both making pretty strong claims. Well, you know, I'm with Rodney every week in the fall. Been with him, you know, for many years now. Uh, every week, and Rodney is an absolutely very opinionated guy. Who, uh, no matter what anybody said, he's been there. He believes what he believes, uh, and there's and you're not going to convince him otherwise. Um, and I, but I think this rises to the level sometimes when I have been listening in the last few days to the stuff about Jeff Fisher, here's the thing I would say in the summer when there was all this stuff going on about the Patriots and Tom Brady, I was, I, I listened to one coach on my training camp tour rail against the Patriots for all the cheating stuff that they did. And I believe they do stuff in the visitor's locker room. I believe they're doing this. And I just said, I, 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 don't, I don't want to be obnoxious and everything. But I said, those are incredible accusations. You've got to prove that. You know, before you would expect me to believe that the Patriots are, are you, know, uh, you know, have weird surveillance techniques in that locker room. I heard the stories, but has anybody ever proven it? No. So I feel the same way about Jeff Fisher. Give me a former player on his team who said, Jeff Fisher always told us, we want you to hit until a millisecond after the whistle. And then just you know, pretend like, hey, I was just hitting to the whistle. You know, because that is the big complaint about Jeff Fisher slash Greg Williams' team. They will hit after the whistle. They don't stop at the whistle. Well, and, and they'll hit you late. They'll hit you dirty. Well, I, I, I just, I'm sorry. I need some proof about this. I think anecdotal evidence in this case is not evidence.